so let's start with the 7800X3D. In offline streets, bumping the F-Clock from 2000 to 2100 gave us a noticeable gain. Average FPS went from 117 to 124. And more importantly, the 1% lows improved from 96 to 100. 0.1% lows went up from 79 to 85. Uh, those aren't massive leaps, but that was enough to make it a smoother experience with less micro stutters. In online play, that uplift held up. We saw average FPS rise from 98 to 104. But the more important result was frame time consistency. 1% lows jumped from 65 to 75, and 0.1% lows went from 57 to 66. That's about a 16% gain, and although the gameplay felt great at 2000, it did feel noticeably smoother on 2100. Moving on to the 9800X3D, I was able to push the F clock even higher on this chip. I was able to get it up to 2200 MHz. In off Offline mode moving from 2000 to 2200, the average FPS crept up slightly from 155 to 158, but the 1% lows improved from 130 to 135, and 0.1% lows jumped from 107 to 122. That's a big improvement in floor level performance. In online testing, that trend continued. Average FPS ticked up from 131 to 134, with 1% lows moving from 99 to 101, and 0.1% lows up from 85 to 91. Again, these are kind of small deltas on paper, but they add up to a noticeably more stable feel in game. So, is it worth tuning F-Clock on an AM5 X3D chip? Absolutely. It's a quick setting to change that a lot of people overlook, and it made a noticeable difference even on top of the already excellent stock performance these chips deliver. In Tarkov, getting a 7-16% to boost in 0.1% lows is nothing to sneeze at. It actually made a noticeable difference in game feel. If you want to dial in your own setup, I've got separate videos where I walk through my tuning configs for both the 7800X3D and the 9800X3D. So go check those out if you want to follow along. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.